Okay, today we will use fusion shapes to create some arrows in DaVinci Resolve. First we create a new fusion composition and open it in the fusion page. Go to the effects library, expand the tools menu, click the shape folder. Drag a rectangle, a polygon, a render node and a boolean node to the editor. Connect rectangle and polygon to the boolean node, link the boolean output to render node and render node to media out. Select the boolean node and change the operation to union. Change the sides of the polygon shape to 3. Move it to the right so that we can see the triangle. Select the rectangle node, adjust the height so that it becomes an arrow. Insert a shape transform node between the boolean and render node. We can resize or reposition the arrow using this node. By entering an equal sign in the Y size field, we add a simple expression, enter X size as the formula, so that the Y size will always be the same as X size, and maintain the proportions while resizing. Please note that the default slider max value of the rectangle width is 1, for a number greater than 1, we need to enter it in the field. When resizing the rectangle width, the arrowhead is not moving. To resolve this, we will add a simple expression to the X offset attribute of the polygon shape, so that it will always be attached to the end of the rectangle shape. Before doing that, let's rename the rectangle node to arrow, and the polygon node to arrowhead. With the arrowhead node selected, enter an equal sign in its X offset field, set the formula to X offset of the arrow, plus half width of the arrow. Now the arrowhead moves as we resize the width of the arrow. Select the boolean node in the inspector, go to the style tab, we can change the arrow color. For easy node reading, we rename the boolean node to arrow color. Next we will add a border control to the arrow. Drag a shape outline node and a boolean node to the editor. Branch two more connections from the arrow color node and connect both to the boolean node. We will use this boolean node to set the border color. Connect the boolean output to the outline node. Drag the outline output to arrow color output and a shape merge node is added and connected automatically. Select the boolean node in the inspector, go to the style tab we can change the color of the border. Rename the boolean node to border color. To change the width of the border, select the outline node in the controls tab, we can change the thickness or the border style. Rename the node to border width. In this demo, I also renamed the transform node to arrow transform. Now we have an arrow created in the fusion page. Next we will create a macro template so that we can add it to timelines and adjust some key parameters directly in the edit page. Using control click to select the nodes in the order of how we want to show the attributes in the inspector controls tab. Arrow transform, arrow, arrow color, border color and border width. Press and hold shift key, drag to select all the other nodes except media out. Right-click one of the selected nodes, choose Macro, create Macro from the pop-up menu. Rename the Macro, check the attributes we want to export. In this demo, I checked XY offset and X size of the transform node. Width of arrow node. Arrow color. Border color. And border width. In the file menu, select Save as group. Save it to the Generators folder. Go back to the Edit page, open the Effects Library panel, in the Generators find the arrow template and drag to the timeline. For the demo I added the four color background. Select the arrow clip, we can now adjust the attributes directly in the Edit page. To change other attributes we can go to the Fusion page, select the individual node 
and adjust the attributes as needed. For example, we can enable keyframes for the length of the border width node and create a border animation. If you want, you can change the shape of the arrowhead or add shapes to the end. All right, that's all for today. Thanks for watching and see you next time.